What's up, YouTube? Um, I'm killing time waiting for the ranking system to come out. Uh, for sure, dog. Uh, and it's taking forever. So, I just want to make this video, since I figure it's a hot topic, to do uh, Tito Ortiz. He's back in the mix. And I think it makes sense to uh, give him uh, another top 10 opponent or one of the former champs that there's so many in that division. Um, you have, uh, let's see, you got uh, Forrest Griffin, Shogun Hua fight coming up in uh, late August. You have um, Rashad Evans. What the hell? All right, that's better. You got Rashad Evans, Tito Ortiz. It's a lot darker. I apologize. Rashad Evans, Tito Ortiz. Um, well, what the hell? I said Rashad Evans, Tito Ortiz. No, I want Rashad Evans, Tito Ortiz though. You got Rashad Evans, Phil Davis, uh, Forrest Griffin, Shogun Hua. Um, those are two big fights coming up in my heavyweight division. Um, the only guy that's not fighting right now is Machida. That I could think of. Uh, Randy's retired. Chuck is retired. Um, Jardine's not in the UFC anymore. John Jones is uh, fighting Rampage. Who else? I mean, there's no one else, really. Uh, he, he already beat Ryan Bader in a uh, very convincing fashion. The fact that he dropped Ryan Bader shows that Tito is still, still, uh, still game. Um, dropped him. Had him badly, not badly hurt, but had him hurt to the point where he could have knocked him out. So he could have knocked him out, but he didn't. He submitted him. And he finished him. The fact that he, he finished a top 10 guy. Um, Ryan was ranked number 5 or 6 before the Jones fight. Uh, after it was ranked 7. Tito now was probably going to take that spot, maybe 7 or 8. Ryan's going to be ranked number 10 or not ranked at all in the top 10. So he's still, he's in a mix. He's still... Uh, one of the, the the big dogs, you know what I mean? He just hasn't uh, bit anyone in five years. Um, I'm happy to see him do it, though. Um, Chuck didn't do it. Randy didn't, didn't do it. But Tito did. Uh, so that's third time's a charm. You know, Chuck didn't do it. That was the first. Randy was the second. He fought Machida, didn't do it. And then now uh, we got Tito. So, you know, for the, uh, the veterans in the game, the former champions, uh, you know, who really, like, paved the way for a lot of the fighters, not just a lot of heavyweights right now, and the champions especially. You know, Tito's is still one, one of the, uh, the the names of champions that were, like, hard to beat, hard to erase that, that, that name uh, for light heavyweights of uh, the most consecutive title fight, title defenses, excuse me. Um, it's already been beaten by George and Anderson. But uh, for a lot of heavyweights, no. The closest was Chuck. Uh, John Jones right now has a chance, but his first out of defense is a tough fight. Uh, Rampage. So, more power to him if he can get past him. But, uh, I mean, Tito, uh, Tito deserves it, man. He, he earned it. He paid his dues. And now it's time to give him somebody else. I would like to see him fight with Shad. Like I said, Tito and Shad, too, I think. I speak for a lot of fans who were upset with the first fight. Um, a lot of people still confused who won. Um, I still think Rashad won that fight, but it doesn't matter what I think. It matters what the judges uh, saw and scored it. It was a draw, so we need a rematch. It's long overdue, but it is what it is. Right now, Rashad is fighting Phil. Uh, Forrest is fighting Shogun, and Machida is the only person that's available right now. So I think. It makes sense to have Tito fight Machida. Um, why well, have him wait for Forrest? And, and I mean, have him wait for... Oh, the uh, Rich Franklin fight. Rich Franklin-Noguera uh, fight is also on... Uh, I think it's also on the Philly card. Yeah, it's also on the Philly card, I think. So why not Why not have him fight Machida? Um, they could do that for September, October or something. Um, yeah, September. Do the... Uh, do the Machida Ortiz fight for um the uh the John Jones Rampage uh card. That's the headliner. You can have this as a co-main event. I think it makes perfect sense. Rather than have Tito wait for Rich and, and Noguera and 
Rich is like, every time he has a fight, he's always coming out of it banged up. So there's no question in my mind that Tito's going to have to wait even longer. So it just doesn't make any sense. Why wait to fight someone coming out of a fight when you can fight someone who's in the same position he's in to fight? Michida Michida Ortiz too makes perfect sense to me. Um, Kator Ortiz made sense, but you know Kator obviously retired, so we can't do that. So scratch that. So there's no one else really uh, right now. Tito's back in the mix, but I know what you're thinking. You're probably saying, "Oh well." This uh, this uh, this reign is short-lived because he's not gonna beat Machida. Okay, well here's the thing. I guess I could do like an in-depth for that fight also. Why not? I got uh, like ten minutes more to do a video. Um, Ortiz almost submitted Machida. Yeah, that's granted. But the thing about that fight that people forget is that Ortiz had a lot going against him in that fight where he didn't fight clearly to his full potential. And the thing that I like about the Ryan Bader fight isn't the submission and isn't the knockdown. It, it was the fact that he trained his ass off and it made him... It brought back the Tito of old, but like in a newer version. Like, to make, make better sense of that, like, it brought Tito back, but it brought him back to 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 uh to like rejuvenate a newer Tito, um, like I said, he hasn't had a submission in years. Uh, well, I don't think I said that because I just you know did this video like five hundred times. But um, yeah, he had a, he hasn't had a submission in years, and Tito um is very well experienced. You know, I, I watched the fight with Rashad. You know, even with Tito having this this uh, third round fade out. That everybody knows he fades out in the third round. He gave Rashad a tough ass fight. Uh Rashad I wouldn't say was ragdolled, but like when Tito had the the guillotine, he reversed him pretty easy with that for getting him out. And that was the end of the round. So when he fought Machida at the at the third round, which is his fade out round, he's still dangerous. You know, when he fought Hamill the first round, he almost knocked on Hamill. Um so, I mean, there's, there's like split-second moments in the fight that Tito Ortiz comes alive. So, I think out of all those split-second moments, that like scattered moments when he was at his best, now catching them at his best won't be scattered moments. Will be put-together moments to make a tough fight. So, I think if he fights Machida, he's going to get, Machida's going to get the best of Tito that we haven't seen actually at all. We haven't seen Tito really fight at his full potential at all and that, and that's saying a lot for him fighting for 14 years um when he fights uh with his ground and pound not so many people can handle it um probably his best performance which is more of a beatdown, was the, the ken shamrock title defense um which is their first fight that was probably his best performance in my in my opinion um where he had to use all aspects of the game. You know, he had to constantly put a beating on Ken to put him away, which was an easy task, as you can see. And Ken, his face looked like mush, uh, but he still continued to take a beating. So I think if Tito really fights Machida, uh, again, you know, he was frustrated in the first fight because he said he wasn't fighting him. And Joe Rogan's commentary pissed me off and said Tito's not really a striker. Well, the fights are starting to feet. Tito's well known for uh, throwing head kicks, and he lands them. So I think if Tito really like put together a, a good jiu-jitsu game over the last couple of years to get him uh, his first submission of the night, can uh, not just like threaten with a submission again in a Machido fight. Uh, could threaten with a knockout too. I think a lot of people counted out Shogun where I didn't in the first fight with Machida and Shogun and saw that in the second fight that Shogun clearly made a lot of improvements with his hands uh, instead of going kick for kick with Machida to knock him out with his hands. So I think Tito possesses the power 
to do just that. Now, I'm not saying Ortiz walks in there and walks back out with the first round knockout. What I'm saying is Tito Ortiz can go in there with a game plan that may have suited Randy Couture better to beat Machida that Ortiz can use to beat Machida. Um, Shogun is a grappler, but his Muay Thai is a key thing uh, when it comes to stand-up that he'll beat you up with. Uh, and he has knockout power on both hands. So it was easier for Shogun to really fly under the radar, use his, his stand-up skills to knock out Machida, where Ortiz will use everything. He's going to use his wrestling. He's going to use his jiu-jitsu. He's going to use his kickboxing and his boxing. He's going to use everything in his power to find a way. And that's the key thing. Ortiz will find a way to beat Machida. I am not saying that he can. I'm not saying that he will. I'm saying that he will find a way. Meaning that if he gets this fight with uh, Leota Machida rematch... I'm pretty damn sure this would be an exciting fight. I'm pretty damn sure. Just for the simple fact that Machida um, is coming off a knockout win to Randy Couture. That's going to um, inspire and, and fuel Tito, um, who's an emotional fighter. And I think he's better with you know going in with high emotion. And the second thing is um, Machida lost to Rampage. That's another thing to keep in mind. Tito's a very smart fighter, and I know he, he watched that fight, or if he hasn't, he's going to watch that fight if he gets his fight with Machida over and over and over again to the point where it's like, now I know what to do. Now I know what I have to do. So I think if people are underestimating Tito still after beating Ryan Bader, um, you can look at me and say whatever you want. Um about my opinion on this fight, I think Tito Ortiz has a chance uh, to get that title shot again. But the guys that will give Tito the most problems, um, obviously, obviously, would be uh, the first one, Shogun, and of course the champ. Those would be the two that I say would give him the most problems. I still haven't figured out who wins a fight between him and Rampage. That that fight blows my mind. Um, and I'm not going to really go in depth with Rashad and Tito. Because I think if those two fight, it would be an exciting fight like the first one was. And it's up to them. Like, whoever wins that fight, it's up to them. Like, that fight is so tough to call. Like, I, I still can't come up with a, a victor in that fight either. So, Tito, Rashad, I don't know. Ask them. Tito Rampage, I don't know, ask them. Uh, Tito and Machida, it's really up to him. Um, but Tito and Jones, Jones, Tito and Shogun, most likely Shogun. But like I said, Tito has his fire back, he has his swagger back. But um, the next fight that I think should be for him should be the Machida rematch. Um, it's the only fight right now that makes sense. So I sort of did like a... Tito is back type of thing, and uh, Tito has my respect, and uh, an in-depth to Machida and Ortiz, too, if it happens. And I like being the first to do things, too. I like being the first to, to really call things out that people haven't yet, and uh, say stuff that people really um, haven't thought about, uh, which is why I've done this, this second channel for, uh, for myself, and for you for watching with me. So... This is the first video that I've done close to this time, 15 minutes. So I figured I'll just use up all that time. And like I said, I'm killing time for the show dog rankings to come in because it's taking forever. So stay tuned for the MA rankings video part one, which is going to be somewhat of uh, a Tito uh, segment. And uh, catch you guys later. So thanks for watching as always. Thank you for all the 100 subscribers. I'm going to do that every video. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. And... Um Hope you enjoyed the 4th of July. Okay. Peace.